summer, we've been tracking a spike in crime along South Street from shootings to teen flash mobs causing chaos. And now some of the most popular businesses are making changes. I wouldn't assume reporter Greg Argos is on South Street tonight to explain this tough decision for owners. Greg? Yeah, guys, I really don't have to say it. South Street is such a popular place. Let me take a look at it right now during a weeknight. So you can imagine how busy it gets on Friday and Saturday. But after that spat of violence that you mentioned over the past few months, most South Street businesses Friday and Saturday will now close at 2 a.m. Ask any Philadelphian what they do after the bars close at 2 a.m. on Friday or Saturday. I mean, you come get food. And that's usually here along South Street, where places like Jim Steaks, Wawa, Lorenzo's Pizza, and Nishka Bibbles have been catering to the late night crowds for years, staying open until 3 a.m., sometimes even later. You've been drinking, you've been dancing, you're having a good time, you want to come get something to eat. But that's now changed after a string of high profile, violent incidents along South Street. <laughs> More than 60 teens terrorized the area after the fireworks ended on the 4th of July. A few weeks earlier, two shootings, including one in front of the 9th Street Wawa. I think we decided it was time to uh, take some you know, drastic steps. So Michael Harris, the executive director of the South Street Headhouse District, says six businesses, including staples like Jim's and Lorenzo's, have all voluntarily agreed to close their doors at 2 a.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. It actually is dispersing the crowd earlier. The crowds that are building at that time of night aren't down here for the reasons that we want them down here. Ken Silver, the co-owner of Jim South Street, admits his business has taken a hit over the past four weekends. This new policy has been in effect. We're not offsetting it. We're taking the loss. But he says this is a long-term strategy, despite the hit to his bottom line. We're hoping that it creates more of an atmosphere of security and families. And for those that enjoy a late night snack, that simply means grabbing that last drink before last call. I'm going to have to leave around 1.30 so that I can come and get in line. Now, this new policy was only supposed to stay in effect through the summer months, but the business owners I spoke with say it's been so successful at getting folks out of this area around 2 or 3 in the morning. They plan to keep these hours indefinitely. I'm live here along South Street, Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Greg, thank you.